Hey guys, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. If you're Canadian like me, you are getting ready to celebrate Thanksgiving. And it is super exciting because who doesn't love a good turkey day? And if you're American, well, your president sucks. But also, you're going to have to wait a few more weeks. But either way, no matter where you're celebrating, I have an amazing recipe that is totally going to blow the socks off all of your guests. Now, if you're entertaining a huge group, chances are you're going to have at least one person who's not eating the turkey because they're vegan and one person who's not eating the stuffing because they're gluten-free, and like a whole bunch of people who are not eating much of anything because they're sitting at the kids' table waiting on their chicken nuggets. While I can't help you with that last one, the first two I am totally gonna nail here because I have an awesome vegan gluten-free stuffed acorn squash recipe that everyone at the dinner table is gonna love. Let's do this. I start by cutting my acorn squash in half. Then I take all of the seeds out into a bowl. You can save those things for later. I top them off with a little bit of salt and pepper on the insides and place them cut side down onto a baking sheet lined with tin foil and cover it with a little bit more foil. Pop it into a 415 degree oven for about 45 to 50 minutes. Next, I add some olive oil to a pan and add in my sliced onion, cooking it low and slow for about 45 to 50 minutes until caramelized. Now it's time to finish the filling. I add some olive oil to a pan with some mushrooms, garlic, and some sage, and I saute that up until everything is caramelized and golden. Then I add in a lot of green apple and some baby kale leaves, and I give it a good stir to wilt those kale down. Then I transfer everything to a big bowl for mixing and I add in some cooked wild rice, some cooked white beans, some caramelized onions, my dried cranberries, some pomegranate arrows, some chopped pecans, pomegranate molasses, and some salt and pepper. Give it one last stir to incorporate all those flavors and now it's time to stuff. So to my cooked acorn squash halves, I add all of that beautiful stuffing. Stuff it right to the brim, so it's basically overflowing. Then I give it another little drizzle of that sticky pomegranate molasses, and I pop it back into the oven for about 15 minutes. Look how good that looks. Well, there you have it, folks. You are totally gonna make it through Thanksgiving this year because now we've got an awesome recipe that everybody at the dinner table is going to love. And we've got so much to be thankful for. Speaking of being thankful, I have a very special announcement that I cannot wait to share with you guys on the channel, so be sure to check back next week to find out what it is. If you love this video, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below with some of the alternative Thanksgiving mains that you make for people with food intolerances in your life. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye!